Hi guys, today's quick tip video is just for make, getting fat meters in Pro Tools. You might have seen this on other people's sessions or you might have seen it in other studios. You might have seen that the, the meters are a little bit fatter uh, than the ones that come default in Pro Tools. And it's just a really, really simple key command, which is something called the power claw, which you hold down all the modifier keys. So if you hold down shift, control, option and command, and then you click the meter, the meters get a bit fatter. It doesn't serve any function other than that, and it'll only ever be the main output meters. So if we then look at doing a narrow mix, they're actually the narrow meters and the narrow channels are actually a little bit fatter. So if I look at changing the meters back to the regular width, you'll notice that I get more channels in doing this. Um, on high resolution screens, sometimes it's a little bit, I find this a little bit tricky to read bits and pieces at the bottom. And generally, I actually kind of been working with the fat meters now on this screen for the best part of, oh God, I don't know, four or five years. So I, I like this. I quite like the fat meters. And it's literally the first thing I'll do when I go in the studio. I'll actually change it around. So hold down the modifier keys and that will change the meters at the bottom. There'll be hopefully be tons more of these videos being uploaded shortly. Any feedback, as always, I would really appreciate it. And please like and subscribe if you like this content I'm doing. Thanks very much.